My name is Howard Goldberg, and I'm an executive director at Morgan Stanley. So the, one of the key things we liked was the separation of compute and storage, which is one of the main um, reasons why Snowflake has become popular. It has caching both on the result set and the data using SSD, and the micro partition pruning is, is great for us to, to filter all our data um, without doing that much work. Scalability, it has both scale up within our data warehouse and scale out. And we have tested, and I'll show you in, a, in a, one slide, that we've seen linear query scalability um, in most cases. The data protection, because we're moving some of our most secure data to the cloud or most protected data to the cloud, tri-secret encryption is one of the most important features. And our security team um, just loves this and they have allowed us to put some of our most confidential data in the cloud. And this was a, a big, big step for us to get our data onto the cloud. We also like the Snowflake is CSP agnostic and it works across all the major CSP providers. We also are very, very pleased with the simplicity that we've seen. So all we have to do in Snowflake is create a table, load it and go. There's no range partitioning, no hash keys, no stats. And I will show you an example of that in one minute. We've also, um, used and tested many of the cool new features that are as a result of the, the unique architecture of Snowflake. The undrop, the temporal tables, being able to see multiple copies of changes within the same table up to 99 days. Cloning a table in seconds, all built into Snowflake. And as I pointed out before, we are both a provider and a consumer of the data sharing capability. So the advantages that we've seen with Snowflake so far is that in PLC or development, because the cost of storage, a blob storage is pretty cheap, is $23 a terabyte per month, we now have full volume in, in development, which we never had on-prem. Cloning, we've had a number of issues where we were testing some query performance and some things weren't working right, and we cloned tables in, in minutes and allowed us to test out some ideas, maybe turning on clustering on a table where we weren't having it before, and we can do this without even talking to the application teams. We also liked that the application has isolation. If two application developers are testing something or two, two groups within the same um, application, they would create their own virtual warehouses and they're segregated. And then of course, I mentioned before, the design simplicity of creating the DDL was much easier for application developers because they don't even have to know about hash keys or anything like that. So that made it much faster. So as far as the environmental promotion goes, so we review all the POC metrics as people incubate in the POC environment. And then we discuss with them if they have to make any changes or what their prod timelines are. And once they decide that we all agree that it's gonna go production, we move it to the development environment, and then we'll replicate the data to prod if necessary.